very much for coming. Uh, we are very pleased to have welcome all the Vaishnavs here at 26 Second Avenue. Uh, yes, everyone is welcome here, and of course, uh, everyone knows the uh, significance of 26 Second Avenue. That this is the beginning of uh, Prabhupada's official preaching in the, in the West. So, in either directly or indirectly. Uh, most of us here have um, uh, some uh, sentiment or have some kind of indebtedness to this place, 26 Second Avenue. And we thank everyone for coming here and for uh, giving your association to all of us who regularly come here. And especially, yes, please, all right. Especially with, sorry? Yes. Yes. No, I, I'm not uh, from this place, from uh, the West Coast. From first in Los Angeles. The uh, Prabhupada was uh, originally came, uh, of course, in 1965, and he was staying with some people and giving lectures in various places. And uh, then he uh, came to New York. He continued to give lectures in various places with no fixed place. So uh, he had to tolerate a very uh, uncomfortable situation in uh, one apartment, living with uh, only some young people and uh, one of these people was crazy. So it was a very uncomfortable, difficult situation. Then he had some followers, some young men, and uh, they were not very serious. But he requested them, please help me. Help me to find a place. So two of them especially uh, took this seriously. But uh, we can't subject it. Uh, Carl Jurgens and uh, Michael Grant. That's uh, Mukunda Goswami now. He's Mukunda Goswami. Carl Jurgens is not associated anymore with Motis, but he was initiated. He took the initiation. Carl So these two um, helped Prabhupada and Mukunda found this place, and uh, there was also a residence, an apartment in the, uh, across this courtyard here. So together the two places then uh, became the official place for, for Prabhupada to preach. Then in the beginning, cooking was in the residence. Yes, Harikata and the Prashad, yes, exactly. And uh, it, uh, students were not very serious. Uh, Prabhupada then uh, was cooking in his apartment. And also cleaning up after these young uh, students were coming and uh, taking Prashad in the middle of the day. Some of them were just loitering, they had nothing to do, no uh, occupation. And so they were coming uh, regularly just to take Prashad from Swamiji. Then uh, he was giving in the evening and uh, the morning classes here in this place. So more people were coming to the classes and then a few uh, who later became more serious, they were taking Prashad with Swamiji in midday. So gradually, gradually, Robots taught them how to clean the pots, how to cook for shot, how to do everything, meet some kids on, how to manage the finances, how to administrate the mandir. So in this way, Prabhupada uh, actually began with uh, very little, nothing, only some raw material. So then he began also back to dive his magazine as Maharaj 
extent, and uh, it was printed in a very uh, crude manner uh, just here in this center. So they, they used to uh, print this and then go on the street and distribute the magazine. Then uh, at some point they also began to go to the nearby park about eight, ten blocks away and I uh, have some kids on, on uh, Sundays and on uh, special days in the park. I guess some kids go to Then Charter, yes, yes. The uh, incorporation, yes. The, uh, so then in July, after a few months, uh, Prabhupada wanted to incorporate the society, an international society for Christian consciousness. And some devotees, they were embarrassed because they said, Swamiji has called it international, but actually we have only one center. So they were embarrassed. Then, uh, after some months, again, uh, then in December, uh, Prabhupada went to the West Coast in San Francisco and began there. Then, constantly, Prabhupada was preaching open temples, open temples. Did, any, did anybody came who was serious? He said, I want 108 temples. So then, if somebody was serious or senior, he said, you please go this way. Somebody would write a letter to Prabhupada, uh, Vancouver, Canada, Los Angeles, San Diego. So they're suggesting that this is a good place, that Prabhupada would see somebody and say, you go, you go, you go. So in this way, centers began in various places. Prabhupada <laughs> I joined in October of 1966 and I met Srila Prabhupada at that famous tree in Tompkins Square Park and then uh, some stranger invited me to the temple here and uh, right at that corner of the temple somebody handed me a chapati and as I was eating it and thinking how intoxicating this case is, I overheard two brahmacharis speaking. One was saying to the other that Swamiji has just said that when God brothers fight or argue, it should be taken as clouds passing by. In other words, when clouds pass by, nobody notices it. So very insignificant. And then someone invited me up to Prabhupada's quarters just a few feet across the courtyard and um, in Prabhupada's room, anybody could go in at that time. Prabhupada sat back, there were just a bunch of hippies in his room, who were all hippies. And Prabhupada said, this process is nothing that you or I have made up. It is very old and simple and sublime. Then he sat back and he said, we are temporary, uh, this body is temporary, everything around us is temporary, but we are eternal. And then he invited me to come to the morning and evening program. We had morning program at 7 o'clock, some sort of prayers, and then always the morning tune of Sri Krishna Chaitanya and Hare Krishna. And then he'd speak on Srimad Bhagavatam. And then one month later, in November 19th, he began speaking on Chaitanya Charitamrita, the teachings of Lord Chaitanya to Sanatana Goswami, chapter 20, 22. And he would speak about the different incarnations. He would speak how Krishna is on his road show, traveling throughout the universes. And then he would speak about the love of Radha and Krishna. He would quote 
manifestation of the absolute truth. And I remember after one class I asked him, because I thought that I'm a girl, Radharani is a girl, and Krishna is a boy, I asked him up in his quarters, is it all right to be jealous of Radharani? And he said, no, you can only get to Krishna through Radharani. And then he was sitting in his courtyard here, just outside the temple, and he was sitting on a beach chair. That is those plastic chairs with the stones. And uh, all the devotees were coming up to him, and he was patting everybody on the back, patting the girls on the head. And he said that, um, and he said that Krishna is very strict, and Radharani is very sure. nice. He said, even if I'm a nonsense, if I approach Radharani, then she will go to Krishna and say, I can never love you as much as this devotee. So please accept that devotee. And because the devotee is recommended by Radharani, then Krishna must accept. So upstairs in his quarters, he performed the, uh, all the initiation ceremonies. And I remember in my initiation, he was telling us about the chanting. And he said that the goal of chanting is that there should be tears falling from the eyes, shivering hair standing on them. And this happens very easily unless there are senses. And then he proceeded to list and explain the ten offenses to the chanting. And this upstairs is also where Prabhupada performed his own personal puja on his small uh, oval altar. And he would, every morning, he would offer due parity and recite Omajanam Simaran Nasya in offering uh, obeisances to his spiritual master. And in that same room, that room is called the altar room. That's where actually Shaman Ryan Maharaj sent the first Radha Krishna deities, and they were worshipped up in those quarters. Uh, Shaman Ryan Maharaj also sent the first Kumaranda, Kartal, and all of Prabhupada's books from Kolkata. Um, any of you who know about preserving books, so you have to use this very toxic chemical. So Shaman Ryan Maharaj became ill in. Um, getting all of Prabhupada's books from Calcutta and mailing them here to New York so she was out and could use them as references for his translations of the Gita and Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Chari Tamita, teachings of Lord Chaitanya. So in those quarters, uh, we worship the first deities and then in uh, April, uh, in, from January to April of 67, Prabhupada went to San Francisco and when he came back, he brought with him the uh, second Lord Jagannath Jagannath the movement. And uh, Jagannath and um, Balaram came with Prabhupada, and uh, Prabhupada personally put them up on their first altar, which was two brown chairs. And Prabhupada put his arms around Jagannath and Baladev and cut them into their places like that, moved them with his arms. And then Subhadra came from San Francisco a couple of days later, and Prabhupada said she is late just like a woman, but she's the most beautiful of the three. And then uh, in April, Prabhupada continued his Chaitanya Charitamrita to classes, and also he began his series of teachings of Prabhupada Maharaj. He also instructed me to do these paintings that you see around the uh, wall, this one of Radha and Krishna. He told me to copy from his very first uh, first hand of Srimad Bhagavatam cover, which incidentally, when Prabhupada was printing those Bhagavatam in Delhi, Shilin Ryan Maharaj was associating with Prabhupada when Prabhupada was at that Radha Bhavanar temple. They were cooked together, taught together so many things. Uh, Maharaj explained that Prabhupada was wearing worn and torn cloth, and he gave Prabhupada his chatter to lie down on. They would make your bodies together and discuss Prabhupada's plans for coming to America. <coughs> and then uh, Prabhupada had me do this painting here in 1967 of Jashoda and Krishna. And he explained, he explained that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give what no other avatar or acharya ever gave before. That is previously the highest concept of God was that God is the father, the order supplier. But here in this picture it shows that um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give 
something much higher, that one can become even the mother of God, the friend of God, the lover of God. And he's showing, he's explaining that because he was cutting the jumbles of Maya by philosophy, he said, we don't want to become one with God. And he pointed to that painting, and he said, we want to become greater than God, so that God depends on us, just like Mother Yasoda. There were two uh bossy prints right over here. One of Krishna feeding um, Glavjanin to a calf, and the other very beautiful of Krishna sitting on a rock. And Prabhupada said on his Vyasas on a right there, and he said, we are not interested, we have a out there, but there's a photo, I don't know if that photo can be taken off the wall, of one I don't know if it's attached, but Prabhupada's Vyasas on was right there. This is a photo of Srila Prabhupada sitting uh, on that Vyasas on us with a oval picture of Radha and Krishna above him. That was taken in 1967 right here. Um, so Prabhupada said, he was looking at those Prishvati prints, and he said, we are not interested in going to Vaikuntha. We want to be with Krishna sitting on the rock in Vrindavan. So I don't want to take any more time because uh, now I will introduce Shumana Ryan Maharaj, who himself has come from Vrindavan, just like Shula Prabhupada, to New York, to glorify Prabhupada and continue his mission. He says continually that he came to the West for three reasons. The first reason is to um, go to all the holy places, particularly this holy place, where Prabhupada established temples, and take the dust from Prabhupada's feet, place that dust on his own head, bathe himself or abhishek himself with that dust so that he would get energy to continue Prabhupada's mission. So, he introduced that uh, what became probably known as Christian consciousness. And seeing the very light screaming here, somebody got it on here. Upanishad, and underneath at an angle is Krishna. The consciousness is a problem. So, for Krishna consciousness uh, necessitates the, the devotee, the participation of the devotee. How we, we will be Krishna conscious alone is you know, it's impossible. So, our Sri Father Imarch has come here actually by invitation. <laughs> And um, that invitation was given a long, long time ago. And uh, in a very, uh, very happy and charming way, Maharaj has come here. Before before we left Thompson Square Park, I gave him a piece of the tree, <coughs> which was off by the chanted under him, requested him to take this back to the tree. So it is indeed a holy place, a pilgrimage. Uh, maybe something like this for the buffalo tree and Jagannath Puri were in charge of Halidan Sakhor did his bhajan, chanting lacks of names daily. The Shula Prabhupada came out from the Vrindavan and his rooms in Radha Damodar. He made a tremendous sacrifice that, that most of us know <laughs> well about. Um, and uh, our Shula Prabhupada Nirai Maharaj, he knows well about the Shula Prabhupada also, his struggles here. And he knows him internally also. And um, two things I'll mention more. One is that once when Swami Maharaj was questioned how difficult the place it is where he was run and how he was succeeded there, he replied by saying, well, I am a Calcutta boy. <laughs> and anyone who has seen Calcutta knows that if you are trained in Calcutta, New York is, you know, no problem for you. <laughs> and, uh, Second thing is that Maharaj told yesterday that uh, Srila Prabhupada requested him by his own hand to place him in Samadhi. And uh, I had the fortune of being standing behind Maharaj when Srila Prabhupada requested him. And he was, actually Srila Prabhupada requested him to sit on his bed. Please sit here. 
Prophecy Mirage in order to become the same field prophet who are directly the godfather. Especially Bobby Mirage used to just jump on the field prophet. They had almost shocking as he would jump in the ship. Oh, but he would talk and sing Bali and he would start to sing. So uh, when Rai Maharaj came to visit that day, Prabhupada asked him, please sit on my bed. But Maharaj declined, saying that he would not sit on his bed. And he told Maharaj, I cannot sit on your bed, you're, you're in my room. <laughs> I remember seeing Sri Prabhupada's face over his shoulder. Prabhupada was lying on the bed. And he looked at Rai Maharaj and he said, yes, for a long time I know you are, you are, our relationship is like that. You have seen like that. I mean, right now. So, of course, that is Shikshi Guru, and there is much intimacy there. But it is, it, is a, it is a true thing that there is the external movement of the Vaishnava and the internal movement. And we know much about Sri Prabhupada externally, what he did. So, what moved him internally to do all these things? Uh, in, in many cases, remains a great mystery. And it is in relation to the internal prospect that he requested Maharaj to personally place him in his samadhi. That is not an ordinary thing. It cannot be done with an ordinary thing. Uh, and not simply because Maharaj has studied many books and knows many things in the appropriate mantra. Also, it's necessary. But because of the great intimacy which they shared together for many years. And I know that if Sri Prabhupada was here today to personally welcome Maharaj, he's welcoming him to all of you in the list. He would be very happy to take him to Radhavindji, Sunday, the Darshan of Radhavindji. But uh, unfortunately, there's not really time for that situation. So, um, apart from these rooms here, um, this is our Radha Damodar. Radha Damodar in Vrindavan is also a type of yoga piece, although it is not actually a yoga from it, I believe, um, is the official yoga piece. But there is special sweetness at Radha Damodar. And if you See the movements of Srila Prabhupada, he did not take any ordinary place for his real hand. Arms, you want to use the back? Right here. Okay. 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 No. I think I'm not going to be to be to be to be to be to be to to be 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 he tried for a long time to secure the permission to have it on the dark. And Delhi, he had a place called Chikiwana. And Chikiwana is here to be able to go on the other And his struggles began there. He used to sometimes sleep in the doorway. I met many people in Delhi. It was just a little problem about his Delhi struggles, but not with them. He printed his blog with them and his press. I found that press. Great news so the, the OK press. That was OK. <laughs> <laughs> I was going back to God. The press that spoke with Bhagavatam until Radha press. He lived in, before that, Radha Shmarik. Shmarik is from Jansi, Radha Shmarik. Not just taken, not simply coincidentally either. So Sri Prabhupada did not speak much about his personal struggles and so many things, but he chose these things very expertly. 
when I went to this Raja dress, which is over across the Yamuna River in Delhi, I saw that dress. That day, there was one thing I had in that dress, Dhamre Maharaj was there. So we had some words, and then I went to this dress and just pressed it, printed the Bible on it, and it on the floor. It's quite an easy clean, surprising to a press in India. Very easy. And all along the wall, there are slopes with this press. And all of Sanskrit is meaning. Well, I'm not reading Sanskrit in the beginning. I'm just doing this right. So I'm looking at all these things. I think there's a lot of things spoken. Why are we here? Then I look. Why is spoken was in English? That spoken was for not a piece of music now. It is spelled in English. So I asked the Sharmaji, what the press it was, to work for Dalmia, and the secretary to listen to Dalmia. And I said, why is it spoken in English? And he told us, oh, you're Burmaj. He told him, one smoker you must put here in English. And he told us, uh, this is not a piece of music. I'm going to say, it's not a piece of music. I thought, oh, that is very nice. Then later I heard from some of the god brothers of ours, I'm not a devotee, I'm not a friend. Uh, they used to joke with him because he was a chemist. They would say, hey, Babu, can you put some formula? for Krishna consciousness into a bottle. <laughs> He's making formulas. He said, yes, I have a formula. <laughs> the difficulty is cooking in the bottle. <laughs> and they said, you have the formula. <laughs> and he told me, you're not a beast. Without the ability, Krishna consciousness is only a mental speculation. And the knowledge, the crown jewel of life is, is humility. At that time also I discovered that I was visiting the gentleman who owned the OK Press, and uh, now he's now a lawyer, but I visited his uh, Delhi home in Old Delhi, and uh, he gave me some very old books, which goes up in his covers. Father Tom with black covers. Originally he printed red cover and black cover, and they made a choice. So then he gave me this one volume of black cover. So he was there, his wife was there, his daughter was there, and I was out that time about 29 years old or so. And at that time, that little, that lady was just a baby, few months old. And she was probably just coming here to do so many things. Actually, he used to cook their lunch together. And they would take some shots together. I saw one plaque on the wall. It said, I am the servant of God. God will protect me. Why I should fear for anything? Why I should worry? Worry or fear? I think that sounds familiar. So I asked, who is with me? He said, oh, daily. We were telling your girl, Maharaj, you don't have proper cloth. You don't have proper place to stay. You need to put money aside and give these things for yourself. I need to go through all these difficulties. And he would say, I am serving God. God is protecting me. Therefore, I should fear the So he sacrificed everything, and on the way, he charmed everyone. Everyone that he met in this world. And, uh, and came here and continued to charm the devotees, and his charm certainly continues to the world of today. So I myself was very fortunate to um, uh, know Shiva Narayan Maharaj on Grace Little. It's 1976 July. We first met Patit Kudar, Patit Padana. He found Maharaj's temple. He came to us in uh, Vrindavan and he told, I have found the temple where Prabhupada took Sanya. And I have seen the photo. Take me there. See this place. So we went there, and that was before remodeling. There was one like locust in the center of it. So some Brahmacharya is here, and they told us, Yes, your son Maharaj is taking Sanyana here. So we went there. And then we took a look at the Ryan Maharaj. They finally gave us this photo of Sri Prabhupada taking Sanyana. That photo is everywhere, it is famous, it is beautiful. 
these things which are dear to us, which are connected to Srimad Prabhupada, we must get there. And by whose hand we get these things, most persons must be This is not simply Prabhupada's gift for human beings, but he had backing, he had friends, he had people that he remembered. And Maharaj, as he said many times, to his children, he said the person resembled. As soon as I heard he's coming to America, but now he's come to play with his uncle. I didn't see him play with the fingers, but we're dancing and he's playing with his uncle. He's playing with his uncle. The free hot the free chicken. But I wonder who got the case Christ. He said it. Who ate it? Who he told me? You probably wouldn't remember. It's just a dark round. All right, now we'll hear something. Something, please. Oh, Fernando. Kalpasaru <laughs> When I compare my Gurudev and him, I realize that both are in the same like form. And they are really there. 
अनमन एंड बचन Be assured, you will have to be to take that this time bottle 
And I also requested him that he should tell him to take renowned order. My Guru also requested him and he did. He agreed. And next day, at the time of Vishwaru called, when Vishwaru was in Purnima, the first person Then he took the mass. I, I managed everything from Dunda, door cooking, floor, everything I managed. I also managed for it. So I sacrificed and I did it. I recited his months. And then he came, he had no problem, no problem. Krishna Das Maharaj was at that time. Also, Someone told, someone asked me, or told me, among the disciples of Swami Ji, that is Dhanda, that is so not killing is only a second I told them, you don't know anything. Samnash is given for only gopi bhav. The mantra is gopi bhav. This mantra is itself for gopi bhav. So, Samnash is not an ordinary thing. Is this mantra and this sanya that now I have no nothing to do with worldly thing. I want this. It is not a second. It opens the door to go to Braja in the mode of Gobi. And I saw them. So only this is not second to the guest. Sometimes maybe that Diksha Guru cannot give, but after that Diksha Guru can give it. So it can happen. Then our relation became more thick and more thick, like that. I went to the same in Jhansi and wherever he used to go to. He wanted to be always with me. I used to help him in cooking everything. He used to also translate Gita. In being Keshavji Goryamak, he translated Gita so much. I was helping him in all the respects. After we went to Vrindavan, in Rupa Goswami Samadhi and Vajanath Sali. And after that, he planned to come to Western country. They told me that I want to open some rooms for students boarding boarding, and I will help them. And if it will be essential, then I will supply also X, maids and everything what they want. But there will be one condition that is they will have to tell Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 At least one one round and I know that they will give up all these things in very short time and they will be gone on fire so he was so generous I sent every word, I sent everything to Swami Ji. I sent all these books only to with him one Gita and three volumes of Srimad Bhagavatam. 
I remember now that the address that where I used to send this is second 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 So so many things happen and when I used to do anything new, they used to write me. About three hundred or more than the cost and then this institution. What institution? They don't get it. But the stability accounts wrote me that year. They told also that so many cities are coming out. <laughs> and that will be happy days also. When they come to this place, he wrote me. And he went to San Francisco from here. Yeah. So, our friendship went on this. And then, when he returned for the time in India with Sitan Ananda and Pakistan, and perhaps one there, there was only one man to receive him in the airport. None of them. And I was with him about 15 days. There in Delhi and he went to Radha Ramana Temple. After that, I went to And time to time, I used to go. I know that all the Goswamis of Vrindavan and his Lord brothers, they don't use to take in a touch water by Krishna and the Because it was best friend. And the fact that in question of the things, I used to see it with Maharaj Swamiji and to see it with Krishna and Dr. because they were they said to us. I used to say, Prasadam, Mahaprasadam, that is it. Still, Swamiji was alive. No one took. Anything from him? Not even a person. <coughs> but now they are becoming friends of the BBC. And I found out. Perhaps they don't know. That's no children. They don't remember the days when he called all and told. When Maharaj has come, now I am so glad. Everything will be good. When Maharaj plays, it is to be this much. With your own hand, I know that you are so qualified for all these things. And also try to, to help them. I brought all these boys, like a naughty boy. Not knowing everything, he also likes monkeys. <laughs> also, he told. He told. I don't get. I will call carry your order to my ability. And then he also called up them, and I told that he sort of think that he is going to die. But this is a play of He is going to start eternally to his master's divine couple and take and the Mahaprabhu Nitya and the And in body, in one body he will be here forever to knowledge. He can make, he can have so many shapes as Krishna has said. Like now, you know, there are less and less. Also, Yashoda Mahanand, Baba, all are left and left, many questions in this media, and always among you, giving inspirations and making arrangements. 
Yeah, if you think that he is not of mine, then everything will be fine. Don't quarrel among you for money, wealth, reputation, and everything. You should try to fulfill these missions. What? Try to honor all the bodies, whether they are in Anishtha Dikari or Madham or Uttam. So if there is no devotees, also not initiation, heaven, if you have chanting for you. We should down not all. As a family, we are all in the temple of Sri So I remember all these things. I think that he has taught me here. And if he is saying all these things, Sir Naran Maharaj, is here in my 22nd Avenue here. He has been in California. He has been to Menor in England. He was in Los Angeles. And he been there. He is talking that, oh, we are at the So I am so much fascinated to come to this place and to pay the pictures for some business. It is so much Maha Mahasir. Like Haldar Shatum then he left his body, Ketan Mahaprabhu himself carried him. And he gave Samadhi with his own hand. And told that now this is Maha 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 Sitra. He was that first Sitra. But by the second before, seat of Haldar Shatum. So powerful Maha Sitra. But it is also on the three courses, right? Eastern coast and in Western coast, California and all places, Los Angeles, they have become there. So the Mahat is cut. So my first mission is no. And if I want to give mercy. That's where he is, I should go there. To meet my guru, they will find him and to start coming to her. You find him. But I am waiting and they will call and go. But so I will have to be in Vandavan, Mathura, and all the places practicing. Then the peace to me, she knows the whole of the same. Sri Gauranga Bodhite Hare Pula Kachari Guru Parakhanate Aibe Akuti Kabe Ami Pula Vasi Our ultimate goal is to start Sri Mahatma That's it. He told I don't tell that but I used to tell them in the name of Shyam Rani. First, he was then drawn in his in world things. Swami Ji took her and he gave in the service of Krishna, Yadu is Krishna and Yadu Rani. And then I told her, let her be in the I has promoted to this. I want that by this place. This will be sharp and to see all the main object of Swami is to come to me. Not to be the servant of Krishna. He is crooked and sometimes he is so hard. So, Short, sweet, fragrant, everything. Krishna has admitted in case I may take hungry. That my blue is still looking at it. And we'll have to start. And for this sake and the Mahatma is work. This is the first mission. And most important mission of Swami. He <coughs> lost me so much time. And clear in Mayavad, Karmavad, Dhyanavad, Yogavad, everything. Cut 
in cutting jungles and to make a very clear form. And then he gets the sheet of bhakti, and that is called to serve Krishna. And it will come in the shape of outwardly, sarta, nishtha, ruti, asakti, bhav. And then nothing in this world to do. Friend will come in next, but friend he will gain in them. So he has come to this place. Not to be in, always in Lord's class, always doing the service at first he gave. When it was this to do to do something, to write something, to do present in this, right? You have to do all. You have to do also and you have to do all. What is your sati? What is duty? What is good? What is this is the sattva? Not only that Sirtan doing and that Sirtan is the Kalishtha regard. Names are of so many, so many things. When a man being in the worldly things, if he chants and knows that this body I am this body, then his name is third class. Not pure. As much as he develops his Krishna consciousness, name goes pure and pure. When there are offenses, when there are but it talks patients and all these things. By this name we can have some wealth reputation for it. Sometimes if Namabas we can go to um, we can have a liberation. But not Bhakti. By the grace of today, we will develop our heart in this stage of Ruchi. And we will see. We are in time. And then name will be Sampas Parkas. When Prophet says to go, and Sultanam Pyorman will come, and then we will be like, I want this. I want stand affection and love for each case and Mahatma. Otherwise, we will never know what was the mission of Chaitan Mahaprabhu, what was the mission of our research with orders, good day, and also think that's Only like us, we have this name. But this is not one thing to do of Guru Dev, of Swamiji. His glory was that he was before engaged, he is always engaged in the practice of God and Krishna. But she could be like him. And he has given him. So it's surprising. Know him and to glorify him. And to preach his mission to this world. Don't we should be stay to in one platform, but we develop our most I pray here in the Lord of Somebody that he is this should be placed to breathe more machine so that we will be able to understand him in real. Guru Prachul Daya, you know this mantra, third mantra, Guru Prachul Daya, what is the meaning? Who are you? How are you? What is your strength? What is your duty? What is your service to Krishna? And Krishna. Krishna. And Krishna. Krishna, who is? Timothy It should manifest in our hearts. If you will do this very carefully, 
Now you are seeing him not not in his real Continue to see Krishna, but not real thing. Oh, what is like? Don't you know? You used to see him, Krishna. Never he has any <coughs> conception that he is Krishna. So we have seen the perhaps. He has no real This is a chance that Then he will eat. If he has, we have seen him, anyone in this world, he cannot, he cannot uh, go down. What it means? But I mean, she does. So many disciples are fall down, yet if they are renounced order, they are the Vashnus Bhagavan Dash, Brahmananda, but if they are seen him and if they are suffering, if they are suffering for a moment, then he is never seen. But if they are suffering, he is out So there are so many devotees I know. But the thing is that we have served him so much and serving. But I see. That is there. That is You are all very good. Disciples of Swamiji, no ego, nothing to control anyone. Any devotee, a real devotee cannot control anyone. But we are trying to control. Oh, we are all. We have become. And we have served him and served him. I know that very rare person can see him from all the to try to see him in and to follow him. If anyone follow him as very little, he will surely have the Krishna in his own time. We are begging to this mercy, this lotus king, that he needs to discover his mercy more and more. 